Hello everyone. This video is about CS practical exam, my journey for this exam and my analysis on this exam. If you are planning to opt for CS practical certification and you are planning to go for this certification then this video is for you. So who am I? My name is Ritesh Gupta and I am a full time application security engineer at Cognizant. I am a YouTuber and now I am EC Council certified ethical hacker. I do security testing for web applications, web services along with the mobile applications as well. That's all about me and uh, let's get started with the agenda of this video. So this video, in this video I will be discussing the prerequisite for the CS practical exam, the syllabus, the approach and tools that are required while solving the challenges for this exam and how and where to practice for this exam next let's talk about the prerequisite so you must be aware of the basics of networking and basics of cryptography the networking consists of vast things but you must focus on the protocols the important ports and services running on those ports and ip addresses course with the CIDR notation and you must be well versed with the concept of subnetting. Second for uh, basics of cryptography you must be aware of what is encryption and decryption and what are the types of encryptions and decryptions and uh, for the encoding and decoding as well you must be aware of what is the concept of encoding and decoding and what are different types of encoding and decoding. So what must be the approach for this exam? So you must go through for all the phases of hacking from beginning to the end there are 5 phases. So apart from that you must focus on the phases like network scanning, the most important phase like enumeration and service exploitation followed by hacking web application and after that you must focus on the concept of traffic snuffing denial of service steganography and cryptography so what are the tools you must learn and that will be handy for you life of that for your rest of the life not just for cs practical but in your any pen test and even if you are playing any ctfs you must be well versed with these tools the first one is nmap, the second one is metasploit followed by wireshark, nmap and metasploit for enumerating the network, the services running on the ports, finding different ports, finding different hosts that are in our network and uh, for exploiting the services you can use nmap with the nmap scripts, NSA engine or you can use the metasploit. For the YX Shark tool, this tool is used to analyze the network traffic and it is very very important tool. If you come handy with this tool, you can do a great things. Then for web application security assessment or web application hacking, you must be well versed with the tools such as Burp Suit, which will help you to analyze the traffic and manipulate the traffic. After that, dealing with the cryptography and encoding part, you must be well versed with the Vera Crypt tool and Crypt tool followed by BC Text Encoder that is used for encoding and decoding. And at the end, you must come handy with the Android Debugging Bridge which is also abbreviated as ADB. And that will help you to solve the challenges related to the Android. After that, let's discuss which platform you can use there are two different platforms one is the free and another one is the paid version for the free platforms if you want to learn the concept of networking enumeration and exploiting those services running on ports you must follow hack the box academy and try hack me and for and for learning web application security you must opt for port sugar academy that is you can get a good hand over the OR's top 10. After that, you can use a vulnerable VM which is Metasploitable 2 to practice on. 
and for the paid platforms you can go for easy council eyelash which are provided by them which cost you some bucks and uh, after that you can go with INE labs or the Pentest Academy labs which I think they got merged now so that's all about this video thank you so much and I'll be creating a new playlist for the CH practical preparation and if you are interested you can follow along with me where for the time and I assure you if you follow along with me you will be able to crack the exam as well. I cracked the exam by solving all the 20 challenges that were provided during the lab duration and the questions that were included in the exam I am not supposed to disclose it but I can tell you that if you follow along those videos you will be able to solve all the challenges so just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you